Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to continue the Talos Principle Portal 2 test chambers. Now, Flooper told me something interesting, that he actually made these all in Vanilla Puzzle Maker, and he just has clever manipulation of ant lines to hide the ore gates in the way that they're there, because there's no actual ore gates in, uh, Puzzle Maker. Yeah, so you have to use lasers and stuff like that to get it to work. So, for test 14, this chamber represents the Talos Principle perfectly! Sorry if some corners are too darkish. I couldn't place light strip items thanks to the annoying object limitation. Oh yes, the object limitation. They said that they were going to increase it, and also add in a counter so you would know how many objects you were using, but that never happened. Whoa, chariots, chariots, for some- <laughs> Alright, so, as is the tradition, we are at 2 times speed, maybe occasionally 3 times speed, depending on how far we have to walk. That opens a bunch of stuff over there. Alright. Man, I just got done playing the arc maps, and, uh, already I'm looking- I'm looking around trying to find the world portals, and there's- there's no world portals in this map. <laughs> Alright, so, it looks like it's not too useful to be here just yet. There is this, which we have not used yet. Hmm... What's in there? And we can't angle it from here? Oh, no we can. And... Oh, it actually does something in there. Never mind, then. Hopefully we never have to return to this room. Because I might be about to trap myself. Also, I just noticed how much of an angle this is at. So let's go back in here. And before I trap myself, we will quick save. Now we have both cubes out here, right? And also I'm an idiot. Because I do need to go back in there. Wow. <laughs> that is why you quick save. Let's put this cube back on this button, please. Ah, I know what to do. So if we do this, right? And this. Oops, no, not that. This. Maybe. It would still be trapping ourselves, but... It would allow us to go in this direction. And actually, it's not trapping ourselves, because we can do that. Right. Okay, good. We've done this, right? Oops, come on, let me around. And I'm assuming if this is an ore gate. Alright. Hmm. Uh, this is nothing useful in here right now. So maybe the useful stuff is... right here. Like where a normal person would expect it to be, for instance. But... how would you... I guess since we're not really trapping ourselves, it's, so, it's okay to do this. Right, we got that. There's turrets. But, we can freely walk across here. I believe. Oh, 
actually, I wanted this laser to be a little bit ahead, like, right there. That'll do it, perhaps. Maybe. There we go. And then we can adjust it. To be more on the button. Hang on, I might do this at one time speed. There we go. Wait, what? Come on, cube. What are you doing? That's not how you're supposed to rotate. There we go. Oh, nope, nope. It's- it's off again. Stay. Thank you. Oops. So... Ah, we have a normal cube. The question is, how to obtain it. So in order to get the normal cube, what we need... Holy crap! Gotta get a laser over here! That's one heck of a journey, that we have to make. the cube that's really easy to get back later. This one. And what we want to do... is... this. Come on. That. That should work. is also easier to get back, so let's- let's use this one out here, actually. And this one... can be... in here. Let's see, we aim at it. And uh, I- my aim was great! Perfect, awesome. But, that doesn't actually really help that much. That button... opens this up. Hmm. Oops, come on. Oh wait, this is an alternative. Why didn't I think of that before? Let's get this cube out of there. Might not even need it in there right now. Well actually... No, well, I'll get it out. Cause we can put it back easy enough. I think I should have kept it in there. <laughs> yes, in fact, I think that would have been advantageous. Gosh, get this 
can do out of me. Do that. Do that. Put this back. Do this. And we're in. You know what? We actually have two cubes right now, technically. Let's go get the other one, which is that guy. And I made him the one that was easy to recall for a reason. Game? What the heck just happened? Uh... How does that happen? What the heck? I hope I don't have to restart the map because of that. First things first. Let me double check. Does this still work? Yes, okay. That is bizarre, I wonder what caused that. I've never actually seen that happen before. Oops. Back over here. Let me run back. Take this cube. And do that. And then we recall the other one. And hope to goodness that it doesn't bug out again. There we go. That time it didn't bug out. Maybe cube droppers don't work at three times speed. I'm an idiot. That's what this boils down to, ladies and gentlemen. I think I could get that cube already. So if we have things like this, right? Why not do this? Yep, I'm way overcomplicated things. As per usual. Give me this. I need this in my life.
kick this guy. Draw a whole hullabaloo. And we use, um, Kirish. That was actually really close. Don't die. This button, which will make magical things happen, like that. Oh, all right. And then, because we don't really need that area open anymore, now we can recall this guy. Thank you. We wanted, uh. Let's figure this out. We actually want. is to hit that. There we go. Ta da! Yep. Cool stuff. Oh, on to the next. I like that one, let me... What, what, did that not take? Let me view this in Workshop. Oh, it took, alright. Favorite. Unsubscribe. Next. Well, you know what? It's, it's been about 20 minutes, so why not? <laughs> I'll have to fix this between episodes. So as always, thank you for watching. If you hit the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!